Okay. There he is, finished. Now, I've given him a couple of, uh, couple of coats of uh, this Def, Wear, uh, Def Clear Wood finish. And, of course, I've antiqued him with the antiquing solution, the uh, boil in seed oil, the mineral spirits, and the burn number oil based paint. And that's our little project right there. Uh, he's not looking too bad. Looks pretty good. And he's all fixed up and ready to go. And uh, as you can see, how that, that antiquing solution just brings out that uh, brings out that luster and that uh, uh, and then in the carbon itself. And then this depth, I, I don't know. A lot of people have their own uh, clear finish, but I love this depth uh, wood finish. I just do. I always have. Uh, it's to me it seals good and I'm going to tell you something always seal your carvings always seal them because uh, seal it with something something to uh, keep them from uh, uh, you know because they're going to be handled and people are going to put their hands on them and if you do not seal them you're going to get them dirty again and it's going to be hard to clean them so uh, and we have natural born oilness on our skins and dirt and and uh, so this way you can handle it. It's not going to have any problem there. Uh, but as you can see, the, the uh, you know, the, whenever I antiqued him, you can see little, little splotches of the gray and little splotches of the, uh, uh, the brown in there, which sort of gives it that, that look. And uh, uh, it is just, uh, it's been a fun project to do. Got the little corn pot, cob pipe sticking out of his mouth. And that's our little figure. There he is, all done. And it's been a lot of fun carving him. And just, you know, like I said, you can obtain these rough out, this rough out, from Mike Shipley. Just Google him on the uh, internet. And it's Mike Shipley Ward Carving. He's got uh, a ton of rough outs. He's got hillbillies. This is a hillbilly. Uh, he's got hillbillies, he's got Santa Clauses, he's got, uh, uh, um, whew, uh, he's got all kind of stuff. He's got the seamen, he's got all uh, sailors, all kind of uh, people like that. It, it's just, uh, he's got a lot of fine uh, uh, rough outs. And uh, more M-O-R-E rough outs has him. Gerald Sears, him and his wife, uh, sell rough outs. Um, you can get them at the Old Texas Woodcarvers Shop on the net. Uh, you can get them at uh, Phil and Vicki Bishop. Uh, wonderful, wonderful carvers. Uh, they can get uh, rough outs from them. Uh, you can get animals. You can get uh, humans. You can get whatever, in other words. And they're just wonderful to teach with. And uh, as you see with this one, he's a lot of fun to do. A lot of fun to get done. But anyway... Just, uh, if, if you decide to get one, just go to uh, Mike Shipley or uh, one of these other rough out places and, and you can obtain one and have them ship it to you and you'll just have a lot of fun carving it. So this is our uh, project here. He's done, he's finished, and uh, he's ready to be put on his base. And uh, So I tell you what, you have a good time carving him uh, if you get one of them. And uh, just be safe, take care, and uh, be careful with your knives. Wear your carving gloves, and we'll, uh, I, can't, I don't know right until I get my bandsaw fixed what project we'll be doing next, but uh, we'll think of something. We'll get something going, okay? All right, y'all have a good day, and, and be careful carving.